In this short video, we will go over how to set up a Taylor Stud Welding Systems i16 controller. Having set up the controller in an appropriate location and connected it to a suitable main supply, connect the welding earth cable to the controller, insert the plug and twist until it locks. Next, connect the welding pistol. Again, twist the welding plug until it locks. The control plug is keyed for insertion and has an external locking ring. Switch on the controller and observe the startup sequence. Once the display is ready, the controller can be set by pressing the adjust knob and selecting either change or load. Select change and press the knob. The first setting displayed is current. Use the adjuster to set the value required, press the knob again to lock the value in and move on to the next variable. The final variable is gas. In this example we're not using a shielding gas so the value is left or set to zero. The next stage is to set up the pistols for welding. Here we have a DA7B pistol which we are going to set up to weld standard drawn arc studs. The first step is to fit the required chuck to the pistol and lock it in position. Do not over tighten as this can cause damage to the pistol. Once fitted, load a stud into the chuck. The next step is to fit the leg assembly. The leg assembly needs the appropriate furl grip for the stud being welded to be fitted. Place the grip into the foot adapter and secure it in position. Slide the leg assembly until the stud tip protrudes beyond the leading edge of the furl. The edge of the conical portion of the stud needs to be approximately 3mm past the leading edge of the furl. Once this position is achieved, lock the leg assembly in position using an appropriate wrench. Check the lift by pulling the pistol trigger. The lift should be approximately 1 to 1.5mm. Once the required lift is set, the pistol is ready to weld. Position the pistol at the location to be welded and pull the trigger. This video is brought to you by Taylor Stud Welding Systems Limited. Thanks for watching.